Okay, so paper of the week this week. I always got stupid big long names and sounds weird when I read them. But it's plant derived 3,3 diendomethane is a strong androgen antagonist in human prostate cancer cells. Now this isn't actually a really new paper, but it is a paper that needs reminding. It was actually published back in 2003. Now it's 2018, 15 years after this paper was published, DIM or diendolmethane is still being sold as an anti-estrogen pro-testosterone product. Since this paper was published in 2003, the medical world and the scientific community use, have been using it as an anti-androgen, exactly the opposite reason why people are selling it in the stores. So, and if you have a look in this paper, they actually demonstrated that DIM inhibited both testosterone and dihydrotestosterone at the receptor site. So regardless of how much hormone you have, it can actually stop it from working. So it blocks testosterone activity, and at the same time, it increases estrogen activity. So DIM is currently being sold as an anti-estrogen to help with dry hardness, reduce, reduce fluid retention, or those sort of things I'm hearing all the time. It actually does exactly the opposite. DIM will block your testosterone activity, okay? So you can't feel the effects of testosterone. And at the same time, it actually increases your estrogen actions. So DIM will increase fluid and hold fat and that sort of stuff, not improve muscle and reduce the fluid. It does exactly the opposite to what they're trying to trick you into buying it for. So DIM, this paper basically shows, and let me read this bit to you. Taken together with our published reports of the estrogen agonist activities of DIM, the present results establish DIM as a unique bifunctional hormone disruptor. To our knowledge, DIM is the first example of a pure androgen receptor antagonist. Antagonist means blocks, okay, from plants. So DIM has been known for the last 15 years to be the most potent anti-testosterone product on the market. In fact, in this paper, which I recommend you get, it actually states that it has a very similar structure and all the same side effects as other anti-androgenic drugs that are used for prostate cancers and that sort of stuff. So I'm talking about the drugs that are used to block testosterone stimulating growth. That's how DIM works. It stops testosterone stimulating growth. It is not an anti-estrogen, it is pro-estrogen. This is, we've known this for the last 15 years. There's, we haven't seen many more papers saying exactly this since this date because it's been proven. Now they've moved on to other things, talking about its effects on actually making other forms of estrogen dependent cancers possibly worse because it's so estrogenic and blocks the androgens, okay? So hopefully I've cleared that up for you. Um, this paper was published at right, the Journal of Biological Chemistry, um, volume 278, number 23, issue of June the 6th, um, 2003. So find that plant derived. We'll, we'll put a link up for it. It's a free article. It's available for everyone to read. I don't know why there's so much confusion. I do know why there's so much confusion. Actually, prior to this article, they hypothesized that DIM may be an anti-estrogen because DIM is a very minute amount and a far downstream byproduct of broccoli and brassica detoxification. So brassicas, so broccoli, kale, cabbages, have been shown to have an anti-estrogen effect. They once thought maybe that comes from DIM. They've now proven it doesn't. They've proven that DIM has exactly the opposite effect. So these companies that are selling DIM as a anti-estrogen, saying that it's better than broccoli, are totally wrong. They're actually talking about papers published 20 years ago that was a hypothesis that was actually proven to not be true. So DIM is an anti-estrogen. So read the recent research, or even just the last of the, when they make a conclusion, read there. Um, 2003, it's been 15 years later, I'm still seeing, getting, answering the same question. So don't ask me that question again. No. <laughs> um, I'll just send you this paper. All right, thank you for Paper of the Week.